New details in a deadly officer involved shooting in Dilly. It happened overnight. And as our Bill Barajas explains, the city spokesman says that officers had little choice but to shoot the man when he pulled out a shotgun. It's a quiet town with a small police department. This morning, that changed. The silence was interrupted. Officers responded. And he heard a gunshot at our, our uh, Main Street uh, Park. And uh, he went to investigate, and so two our, of our officers uh, uh, approached uh, the single individual that was there. The suspect was allegedly hiding a 20-gauge shotgun in his pants. As officers tried talking to him, he pulled it out. City spokesman Rudy Alvarez says one of the officers fired, hitting the man in the face. They really fired, uh, you know, in self-defense, or at least followed protocol for that type of uh, situation. Alvarez tells us this is the town's second deadly shooting in 30 years. Alvarez says this may be the first ever officer-involved shooting in Dilly's history. He also tells us the officers were wearing body cameras, but the city is just not ready to release that video just yet. The Texas Rangers are now handling the investigation, which is normal in these cases. Both responding officers have also been placed on administrative leave, a move that hurts the department since there's only four of them total. We'll try to get them back as soon as we can. What are you guys going to do in the meantime? Uh, well, we'll have to make do with what we've got. The suspect and officer's names have not been released yet. We're told more information will be available Monday. Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.